it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's just so much fun. What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we are bleeding the clutch in the Miata and if we have enough time we're gonna finally switch out this mirror. Uh, Ethan is here to help me. Your, actually, let's start up here. Your clutch reservoir, clutch fluid reservoir is right here in this 99 Miata, right next to your brake reservoir and booster. God, I'm feeling awful on these talking shits today. Small car problems. We actually had to do this to Ethan's Mini Cooper before as well. Never before in my life have I bled a clutch. I bled brakes before many times with my dad, with Ethan. Never a clutch though. Um, I hope you can see all my face. I feel like you can't. But Ethan didn't really think, and neither did I, that neither of us thought to break those bolts because the master cylinder is already where I showed you, but the bleeder screw is in there. I can't. You can't even see it from this angle. It'll have to wait until the tires are moved. You know, you, who was it that said that I needed brakes? Because these things have got some meaty pads on them still. Alright, time to grab our gear. See if we can see what we can see. And see if we cannot see what we can't see. Um, right there. That's the clutch bleeder screw. So I'm going to have to reach in there. And treat it like we're bleeding brakes and have Ethan push down while it's open. I close and so forth. And the tire took actually quite a bit of work out of me. I don't know why. Right there. Right there. That one. We are in the passenger wheel well. Uh, Mission Impossible is go. Mission Possible is about to be completed. I'm sure this video is a lot shorter than anyone's expecting or than you're used to just because I mean we're only bleeding the clutch so it's a lot of open, down, closed up that you know one wants to see that. But we're gonna go take a test drive and we'll let you know how that goes in just one second. Alright guys, in the Miata, um, first test drive after bleeding the clutch, Brent? Uh, it feels, it feels like a clutch should, I, it's my best explanation. I mean, it feels more like my Camaro, and my Camaro probably had one of the best clutches I've ever driven. And I will hope to drive it again soon. All right. It's nice and smooth. Okay guys, so one other thing I did, I uh, used some leftover brake fluid and put it into my reservoir because it was a little low and it wasn't under minimum quite yet but it was uh, below the sensor in the reservoir and my brake light was on so I didn't know if that was it or if there was something wrong with the handle or whatnot because like I said when I got the car the brake pedal or not pedal the the parking brake works and everything unlike the Camaro the Camaros needed to be adjusted and I never had the time so today we topped it off and now that light is completely gone and we are set. I'm super stoked right now and um, I'm glad we did this. Car's running perfect now. Due to circumstances of um, a little bit of laziness to you know go get the right tools, Jesus, uh, we're just gonna let Ethan take a gander and drive around in my car. He's gonna see what happens, see how he likes it, give you his honest review of um, just a non-buyer dude. Oh. All right, 
right, Ethan, let's give her a go. Uh, thinking same loop that we've been doing all day? Yeah, it works. All right, cool. You can go around the cul-de-sacs too if you want. Oh, I should probably buckle up, especially since there's a cop up there. Gotcha. All right, we're recording. All right, guys, I'm sorry. It's weird driving somebody else's clutch. Um, here I am in the Miata. Yeah, our video, uh, we didn't get as much done, had no opportunity to really, to get as much as we wanted to. So I figured, you know what, let's just finish this video out with something entertaining for everybody and let Ethan drive the Miata now that the clutch is bled. So we're gonna get his first impression after driving a little bit. Just to replace that seatbelt, because that one makes me so mad. Oh, this is so different. Yep. So different. Watch your speed, because we're going 30. It's in increments of 10, and then like 1.5 or something, I don't know. It's so weird. I'm so happy about that light. The brake light being on? Yeah. Makes me so happy. So, what do you think? I like it. It's, it's really fun. It's real different from yours though too. Oh, it completely like worlds apart. Here, uh, steering's a little bit tighter, which I don't I don't mind at all. Um, definitely, what I like the most is the short throw. Extremely satisfying. Clutch feels really good now that it's bled. Yeah, there used to be a little a huge dead spot. Now with the dead spots, you know, the normal right before anything engages like it should be. It feels a lot lighter. And that's that's from a you know a, a 2400 pound car that the Mini is. Mm -hmm. I think this one's what somebody said something. I'm gonna take my guess at 21, and we can just look at it later. Yeah, because it is lighter. I know that for a fact. Obviously, clutch and steering is different. Steering's a little tougher, doesn't it? It is. Does it not have power steering? It does, but I don't know. I'm thinking it could just be low. Yeah. And I'm just haven't had the time to take give it a look, you know. I really like the short throw. Yeah, that's short throws are nice. That's such a satisfying clip in the gear. Hi. All right. So. Yeah. What else are you thinking? I, size. I just, I size like wise. Always have been. They always will be as long as Mazda just keeps doing what they do. Yeah, this platform is honestly one of the best platforms. I mean, I, you, it has to be if, you know, Alfa Romeo and Fiat are taking it for some of their cars as well. It's nice. All right, it's cool. Because I was, I'm just you know me, fan. I'm not a huge convertible fan, so I was real skeptical. But I just said screw it because I needed a car and this was my best option. So I just said, screw it, I'm going for it, and bought it, and I'm honestly, I'm in love. This car is really nice. And it gets great gas mileage. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's just so much fun. And how did you say you were gonna describe it? In what, two words, one word, I think? Oh, uh, I guess in two words, go-kart, um, you know. A, an a over, road legal uh, go-kart? Yeah, a road legal go-kart with more power. 15 to 17 years old and they're in really good shape and they still hold value really well. And we're both in that what one mid 120 range for the mileage? Yeah. Or did you put it more on? I'm at like 115 something like that. All right because I'm at 125 plus whatever I've added on. I think I've only added on those 200 since I got it other than the trip home. Yeah. So I shouldn't be too far over that 25k. I'm glad that kid had this. I'll put it in a stereo, yeah. Um, oh, go-karts on the note of that. We got some other stuff to do. I don't know if you'll be here for that because uh, for those of you watching, the, today is Ethan's last day in as an Illinois State resident. <laughs> yep. And then I got, what are we in? We have two weeks until move-in day when we're gonna get back up together and you know, white water. So until then, we have to, you know, we have to get our stuff done, finish everything else. There's still some residue. And then the one thing I, the only thing I've come to dislike is this windshield. And I'm pretty sure it's just cause it's old and beat up. Cause at night, you know, the older windshields that are scratched and shit, you just can't see through them. And it's, but then I take the top off and I just, I don't care. 
If I had to describe this in one sentence, it feels like you're in a little race car. I was thinking a little go-kart when I thought of that. I was like, my one sentence, you know? That's how everybody describes the Mini. It's like you're in a go-kart. I mean, they're not wrong. It, so there you have it, folks. We drive go-karts on the road. <laughs> but, uh, anything else you want to mention? Uh, we would have taken the top down, but it's pretty late. And, I mean, it's not hot enough that we need it. I guess... In my opinion, if you're in the market for a Miata, get one. It's definitely a fun car. I've had a blast driving it this last couple weeks since I bought it, and I I have no regrets on it. You thinking what I'm thinking after this? The, what is what's it called? The Dominator? Oh yes. Oh, I'm in. All right, that's gonna end it for this video. And you'll see a little Dominator action later on, but for now, we'll catch you guys later.